Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Let's Crack It and today I am back with the one of the most interesting videos which is about the 10 aptitude models asked in interviews like Cognizant. See, you guys might be thinking that aptitude is very important for cracking a placement only in placement exams but do, uh, you don't know the fact that even aptitude is asked in some of the interviews like Cognizant and Accenture. Definitely aptitude plays a significant role in, the, in clearing the placement screening test but also these days aptitude is being asked in interviews so by this we can understand the significance of aptitude and apart from the programming knowledge in order to crack a placement so why to delay let's dive into our video about the 10 aptitude models asked in interviews and before that if you guys like my content please comment share like and subscribe to my videos so guys moving on to our very first question and let me tell you that I am trying to put the question in an in exact form in which the interviewer has asked. So, Sharma has three children and the difference between A and B is three years. And also the difference between B and C is also three years. And some of their ages is 45. If we clearly observe that these are the linear equations and definitely this question will be a cakewalk to solve if you guys know how to solve the linear equations we are given three equations a minus b is equals to 3 b minus c is equals to 3 and some of the a plus b plus c is equals to 45 a plus b plus c is equals to 45 is also the third equation and how to solve these equation c b b gets cancelled and a minus c we get a minus c is equals to 6 so now we have got the new equation and substituting these three equations in the final equations a plus b plus c is equals to 45 you will be getting the answer if you solve for these three variables and i would i would like to say tell you guys that you can choose any one variable among these three variable and solve for it for example if i consider for a putting a as same a plus and writing b in terms of a how can we write from equation 1 b a minus b equals to 3 and b is equals to a minus 3 here b can be written as a minus 3 and in place of c we can write as c is equals to a minus 6 so now solving this equation we get a plus a minus 3 plus a minus 6 is equals to 45 finally we get 3a minus 9 is equals to 45 3a is equals to 36 a is equals to 12 sorry a is equals to 12 but uh, b is equals to a plus 3 so b is equal to 15 our answer is the age of b so it should be 15 12 15 and 18 are the three ages in these three we are only asked to write this 15 is the correct answer that's it guys if you have any kind of doubts please comment under the video i will be responding to soon and coming to the next question rohit goes to shop a pair of shoes of rupees 4000 and the shopkeeper allows a discount of 25 percent and then 10 percent on the price so basically 40 40k 40,000 is the actual market price but uh, after uh, shopkeeper allows a discount of 25 percent what is 25 percent of 40 40,000 you can calculate it but simply we can say 25 percent is the one fourth so one fourth of 40,000 becomes sorry 4,000 it is one fourth of the 4,000 becomes so here we are given a series it's uh, if we clearly observe the series 4 8 10 14 16 20 you guys can stop the video pause the video and try answering on your own and all these questions so if you observe the difference between 4 and 8 the difference is 4 plus 4 and here 2 and here again plus 4 and here again 2 so we are observing a series here the differences of 4 and 2 so now the difference should be 2 again according to the series the answer is 22 simple right so now moving on to the next question fourth question and here 
the question is about the same discounts and percentages but it's a little different from the previous one market price for an air conditioner is 50k if the person bought it for 42500 what is the discount person he got see guys if you don't know about what actually is market price basically whatever the good we take for example there is a uh, uh, article upon the article some price is printed right that printed price is called as market price so now the printed price is different from the cost price selling price so these three are different and uh, for example for a good a and it is market price is 50k 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 is printed on this but the shopkeeper sold him uh, but the shopkeeper sold it only at 42.5k 42.5k now what is the difference 7.5k so in order to find the discount percent we need to find the discount first of all discount is 7.5k 7.5 k divided by 7.5 divided by 50k so this is the discount percent in order to find the discount into 100 we get, have to do into 100 so we get finally 15 percent as our answer so simple guys i'll be repeating once again the market price is different from the cost price and selling price basically market price is printed on the article so for example if the air conditioner is there it's a 50k is printed on the air conditioner but the shopkeeper allowed some discount and gave it at only 42,500 so what is the discount percent the difference is 7.5k 7.5k divided by 50k into 100 we get 15 percent and now following to the next question what is the profit percent made by shopkeeper if cost price is 40,000 see I have told you earlier market price is different from the cost price so now cost price is 40k CP is given CP is equals to 40k and SP is equals to 42.5 is only at 42,500 so for, to find the profit percent you know the formula gain by CP into 100 or profit by cost price into 100 here the profit is 2500 2500 divided by 40 into 100 so finally you get 6.25 percent i think you can solve it and moving on to the next question see here a car traveled a distance of 25 kilometers let us suppose that the distance is of 25 kilometers a car has traveled 25 kilometers in an hour so now the required distance is 25 and the time taken is 60 minutes so now we can easily say that the car has traveled with a speed of 25 km per hour uh, the speed of the car was 25 km per hour earlier and now he has given a condition that how if the car has traveled with 5 km per hour more speed then how long does the car take to travel travel so sim uh, simple the condition is the distance is same but now the speed has increased by 5 km per hour so now what is the time new time taken see uh, easy the formula is distance time is equals to distance by speed distance by speed previously that uh, always the distance remained constant distance uh, was 25 but even now the new distance is also 25 but the speed has changed speed earlier was 25 kilometers but now speed has increased by 5 kilometers per hour so now the new time should be 25 by the new speed earlier the speed was 25 km per hour after increasing 30 km per hour it becomes so the final answer is 25 by 30 on solving you can get 0.83 hour 0.83 hour and expressing it in fraction we get 55 minutes and I can also explain how do we get 60, uh, 55 minutes 25 by 30 it is in hours now converting into it into the minutes form how do we convert 25 by 30 into 60 we have to do because converting from hours to 60 because each hour contains 60 minutes now this is the answer sorry dividing it by 60 not a uh, sorry it's my mistake dividing it by 60 
I'm extremely sorry guys actually to, I am confused it's not divided by its uh, multiplication because each hour contains 60 minutes so the answer will be 31 the 32 the so 25 into 2 50 minutes it's not 55 it's 50 minutes simple guys earlier the uh, speed of the car was 25 kilometers per hour in hour and now the new speed is changed to 5 km uh, increasing 5 kilometers per hour so 25 becomes 30 the speed has become 30 and the distance remains same 25 by 30 is our final answer and converting it into hours format in minutes format into 60 we get 50 minutes and this is one uh, this is an uh, interesting question even nowadays these kind of puzzle questions are also asked the interviewer will be displaying the puzzle and uh, you need to answer it and pass the video and take your time guys to answer this question it it will test your reasoning skills and mental ability visual skill visual reasoning everything so let me answer the question if you observe clearly 5 into 4 5 fours are 20 the units digit is 0 here uh, units is 0 and 9 6 are 54 4 the unit digit will be 4 but here uh, the last digit is uh, 4 so if we observe somewhere we can find that 45 into 54 is 2430 2430 simply by multiplying the first column and last column 69 into 96 we can get that double six two four so by this uh, by this time you should have predicted the answer easy that 73 into 37 will be our answer but we need to reverse it 73 into 37 1072 is our final answer i guess i hope you guys have understood the logic so these kind of questions will only be solved answered by you on some good good amount of practice you need to invest some time in sol solving these kind of questions. So here comes a work, work and time related question. So guys, any competitive exam we take, any aptitude exam, uh, without time and work question, it's incomplete, we can say. So by this, you can understand how significant these work and time related questions are. So now basically Raj and Ram can complete a work in 6 days and 3 days. It's very clear that Raj can complete in 6 days and Ram can complete in 3 days. And if both of them work with 50% efficiency in how many days they can complete the work. So if you guys uh, just skip this second part without this part, this line, in how many days they can complete the work? Basically we will be solving this as by 1 by 6 plus uh, 1 by 3. And again taking the reciprocal finally we get two days as our answer 18 by 9 will be our answer and two days two days so two days is when the efficiency of efficiency of work is 100% they take two days but if the efficiency is 50% how many days they will take so always uh, remember one thing guys if the efficiency decreases the time taking will be increased and if the efficiency increases the time taken will be decreased simple both of them are inversely proportional now two days should become how many days four days because they worked with only 50 percent efficiency the answer is four days but how to represent it in mathematical way two days should become four days how two days always multiply with efficiency by 100 by efficiency 100 by given efficiency simple right the formula is the uh, given time multiplied by 100 by given efficiency. For example, if they work with 100% efficiency, 100 by 100, they take 2 days. If they work with 50% efficiency, 2 into 100 by 50 becomes 2, 4 days. If they work with 25% efficiency, what will be our answer? If they work with 25% efficiency, 2 into 100 by 4 becomes 100 by 25 becomes two fours are eight days they will be taking eight days and you may also think what if they work with uh, more than 100 percent so suppose consider two uh, they work with 200 percent efficiency now the efficiency has increased uh, according to our formula the time taken should be reduced so 100 by 200 becomes two by two becomes one day finally the answer will become one day 
so in this way we have to solve these questions efficiency time work related questions if you are if you are having any kind of doubts or need of, in need of any explanation just comment under this video i will be replying as up and following the next question eighth one what is the probability of getting at least one head when a coin is tossed three times so basically when a coin is tossed n times the total number of uh, possible events will be 2 power n like for example if a coin is uh, tossed three times the all possible outcomes are two cubes so eight outcomes now i will be mentioning one of the most important tricks here whenever you encounter this word at least at least in probability related questions you can use this formula 1 minus probability of this in this way for example if the probability of getting at least one head when a coin is tossed three times now so we can use the formulas 1 minus probability of getting all heads so the simple trick i have told you is whenever you encounter at least one and you can solve this question by 1 minus bracket of finding all events instead of one all so here 1 minus all heads probability of uh, getting all heads will be do you know the uh, the total number of outcomes is 8 all heads for getting all heads there is only one possibility head 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 so only one possibility is among the sample space all 8 events only one so 1 minus 1 by 8 it's our answer finally we get 7 by 8 as our answer so simple guys for example if they ask you and any question in the, related to this model you can solve this way and here comes two different question different kind of question where uh, no numerical analysis is required just a conceptual way of understanding is required and the interviewer has asked these two questions one by one uh, once he, he was done asking the first question and when the student answered he immediately asked this question so i have mentioned inserted the two questions in the same slide see basically the first question was so first of all what is the probability of raining on sunday this was the question so blindly whatever the probability question you encounter just tot probability formula is equals to total number of favorables and total number of possibles this is the um, formula whatever the uh, probability question you take total number of favorables by possibles and he was uh, what is the probability of raining on a sunday so if you observe here the all the different outcomes will be it may rain on sunday or monday or tuesday wednesday thursday or any day until saturday so total number of outcomes here are seven so but our favorable outcome is only on sunday so the answer here is one by seven it's clear probability of raining on a sunday is one by seven because there are six other different other days monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so total number of favorables is only sunday divided by uh, total number of possible outcomes seven so one by seven is done but immediately he was asked this question what is the probability that it rains today so these two questions are different don't think that here the answer is 1 by 7 it's a way different if you observe keenly here the days are not included only the question was whether it rains today or not so their answer is 1 by 2 is the answer it's very simple because can you predict the possible outcomes and the favorable outcomes here the possible outcomes are it may rain today or it may not rain today and the favorable outcome is it should rain today so the answer is 1 by 2 and still you guys are having any kind of doubts you can uh, simply ping me in the comments and i'll be responding you to you guys and these are the different kinds of models of aptitude question which were asked in interviews so i'll be putting most more interesting content in upcoming videos definitely please subscribe to my channel if you guys like my content and my way of explanation and thank you guys